everybody, Dr. Dan here, and this is another video. Actually, I think it's the fourth video of our Ready for Anything series. And again, this is a, a response to a lot of questions I have about how I personally put a course together. Again, you may not do it this way. Uh, if you've watched the other videos, you've heard me drone on about my syllabus schedule and how important it is. Again, whether you use any of these techniques is entirely up to you, but hopefully you get some ideas out of this that uh, may make your life easier and most importantly, make it uh, better for the students to stay on track, to stay organized, and to uh, learn instead of trying to figure out what to do next in the class. So that's why we're going through this exercise. And also, uh, this prepares you for anything. So if you have a face-to-face -face class and you're moving it online and you don't even know where to begin, this is a great way to begin because you can say, all right, I'm starting fresh. I have these new modules. I have these exercises. This is what we're going to get done. So, so there you go. So um, in the last video, what I was doing was I was in my course in Canvas and uh, I know everybody has missed my uh, course schedule so much. I'll put that back on the screen. So this was the framework we were, we were working for. We were looking back and forth to make sure our modules or our weeks in Canvas align with our uh, syllabus. So that's the first thing we did and we created these empty modules and then what we did was we started building the ingredients of the modules and in this case uh, we created a couple of quizzes up front. So again uh, we can just click on those and and we made these just placeholders but we created them in the quizzes area and then we did the same thing for discussions we knew that we had some discussions we had to create based on our syllabus schedule so we just created them in here and uh, now what we're going to do and this and and just this was the method where you pre-measure ingredients that was my metaphor for recipes as opposed to the other method where you create things as you go but i'm going to show you how to do that too if that's more your work flow or your style. So let's go back to modules really quick. And again, this is just the very beginning of the course design, building this, this frame or this structure around the course. And now we're going to start to add things in. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at module two. And I see module two, I need a module video. I have reading notes I need to post and I have this file, this ACA law file I need to post. And then also I have my mini quiz here. And you know what? We've already created the mini quiz. This was this idea of having the ingredients ready ahead of time. So I've already created it. So I'm going to go to module two and I'm just going to go to the plus sign. I'm going to go down to quizzes and we'll see those quizzes I created. Now again, if I want to create it in the module as I go, that's this idea of going to get the ingredient as I need it. In this step, I would simply st uh, click on new quiz and I would name it uh, module two mini quiz and I could do it that way. Again, it's just a different approach, but that's not what I'm doing. I am taking my pre-measured or pre-made quiz and I'm dropping it in. And then also I know there's one for module four and I'm dropping that in. And then since I'm doing this stuff to sort of get us in the flow, there were a couple of discussions we needed to make. And I think one of them was in six. So we're just going to go here to discussion. There's our module six discussion. And then we're going to go to module three discussion. And there's our module three discussion. Again, we're slowly building this structure. If we were, if we were building a house right now, we, we might start with the framing. We might have the framing up right now. Maybe that's what the uh, modules are, and we're starting to build the individual things inside by dropping these components in. So we really haven't gotten very far, but we do have our module layout, and we're starting to put content in. And again, using this same methodology of going back and looking at our sil syllabus, okay what else do we need to do well we need to create a discussion board for our introduce yourself activity so let's do this the old-fashioned way or the alternate way so here we'll just do plus new discussion
So there's my introduce yourself discussion. No contents in it, but it's a placeholder. So I have that already done for module one. So now as I go through here, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna tackle next. I see that I have module videos for each one of these modules. So if I already have them made, all I have to do is drop them in. If I don't have them made yet, I have to create them. And that's what we're gonna talk about in our next lesson.